A day on the ice can be deadly, especially on cold winter days over frigid waters. Hypothermia sets in, numbness. Uh, you get uh, disillusioned. Uh, you don't know where you are. Um, it's just a terrible situation. Um, and people need to realize, again, that uh, just because it's frozen on top, you don't know what's going to be going on underneath that ice. Last weekend, 49-year-old Jeremy Hubbard from Jordan was found dead in his pickup truck after it went through thin ice in the village of Clayton. Jefferson County Sheriff Peter Barnett has a message for everyone planning to be near the icy waters. As your sheriff, I'm not a fan of ice. Um, I don't trust Mother Nature. Um, but the people that are going to go out there and ice fish or do uh, recreational uh, things on the ice, please, uh, take into consideration um, where you are, the temperatures. Here in the North Country, we went the other night from minus 10 uh, Sunday morning to here we are now, Tuesday afternoon, uh, 35 degrees. Do not go out on that ice by yourself. And again, always let someone know where you are. I'm not giving anyone permission to go out on that ice. Now, this is where last weekend's tragedy happened, which still remains under investigation. But because there's a lot more winter to come, Sheriff Barnett hopes this serves as a reminder of how dangerous the ice truly is because he doesn't want any more lives lost in Jefferson County. I don't want to have to go to anybody's door and provide bad news that a loved one or a friend has fallen through the ice and we can't get to them. I don't ever want that to happen. Reporting from Clayton, I'm Isabella Colello.